Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I'm the C-H-A-L-L, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and your theme park journalist worldwide. Today we're on a brand new theme park newsroom update from SeaWorld San Diego and this is on the announced multi-launch family roller coaster Arctic Rescue. Now before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click notification bell to never shoot your video, the socials are at the bottom of your screen and in the description down below as well. We're getting very, very close to 3,000 subscribers and nearly 800,000 views across all the videos. So please, 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 let's get there as soon as possible. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what the announcement is from Arctic Rescue, the brand new multi-launch family roller coaster at SeaWorld San Diego in 2023. And a bit of history on the project. So back in April 2022, some uncovering was done by Park Fans Network and it appears to be a new updated version of the Wild Arctic Coaster Project. Now, unlike the, um, uh, unlike previous leaks at the time, uh, there is not a lot of analysis when it was first put out, uh, because Behind the Thrills has done something as well. Uh, so Behind the Thrills has done something on this project, Park Fans have done something on this project, everyone's pretty much done something on this project, and this is what we were seeing sort of around that time, around the uh, addition or the update, ad updatement of the plans. So uh, Behind the Thrills published the layout, the project appears to have undergone uh, changes from a previous plan, because of course there was previous plans for a coaster in the Wild Arctic site. And the plans depicted an Intamin family multi-launch coaster utilising part of the Wild Arctic Simulator building as a station, with a number of launches and the layout have both changed notably from previous plans. Um, um, now, comparing it to the original pre-COVID version, the coaster appeared to have lost some of its track length and one of its launches. Because, of course, it was going to be more than what it was announced now. Now, the new layout looks a bit stronger overall, according to park fans. Uh, the support's footer spacing suggests they may have gained a little height compared to the original iteration. And, frankly, the new layout looks less repetitive. And a lot of the track shaping reminds us of Project Dark Castle, or Dark Coaster, as we know now. Uh, the new younger sister coaster to the Wild Arctic Coaster. And of course, track shaping, um, like I say, it looks very, very, it looks slightly different to before. Uh, and, I say, and I think from the from the track and that, I think it does give us vibes of the uh, the Dark Coaster project rather than uh, the original Wave Breaker at SeaWorld San Antonio. Uh, now, this could be a very, very nice project. Now, of course, those original plans were um, what started this thing. We had the pre-COVID plans when there was one more launch and a bit more track length to it. Uh, but the newer updated ones back in April were less track length, one less launch, uh, but looks a bit stronger in experience. And then we got the official announcement over the last 24 hours of Arctic Rescue, the fastest and longest straddle coaster on the West Coast, which, first of all, confirms the alteration in track shaping to similar uh, similarize it to dark coaster escape the storm rather than wave breaker so it is going to use the newer trains uh, that we're seeing on the new dark coaster roller coaster project to bush gardens williamsburg for next year uh, so this will be using the same kind of um you know, train train design as that one rather than wave breaker. So it's time to hop on your snowmobile and ride to the rescue. The ice is melting, the porches are lurking, and the Arctic animals are in peril. Join the team and feel the rush of the fastest and longest straddle coaster on the west coast. Arctic Rescue, it's only at SeaWorld San Diego, your go-to spot for family-friendly rides. Now this is in partnership with SeaWorld Rescue. It is a family-friendly thrill ride with speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, three launches and experiencing about 2,800 feet of track. As this will be manufactured by Intamin and as we said it is the fastest and longest straddle coaster on the west coast. Now we saw the straddle coaster sort of tagline mentioned along with the dark coaster escape the storm project at Busch Gardens Williamsburg for next year which again confirms the fact that we're going to see this train alteration, a bit of alteration on the track shaping and design and that is what we're looking at here. So Arctic Rescue as we said will be built for 2023, manufactured by Intamin and will replace the long overdue Wild Arctic Simulator attraction 
action which from the reviews over the past few years or so it has been growing a bit stale uh, from previous reviews so that is all the details on Arctic Rescue uh, now I'm going to share my thoughts on the project is this what the park needed first of all absolutely yes a multi-launch family thrill roller coaster is exactly the kind of investment I would want to see at SeaWorld San Diego it completes the coaster lineup very very well and I think it's a great addition to the park now the theme and the name Arctic Rescue and the theme of hopping on this snowmobile while the ice is melting is sort of you know going through the ice etc I like the theme I think it's a very interesting story behind the ride I like the partnership they're doing with SeaWorld Rescue um, I think the name Arctic Rescue it's a little bit generic, but to be honest with you, in this particular instance, I like the genericness of the name. I think Arctic Rescue is more broad, has more potential opportunities. I think it's more open than other name options they could have gone with that's more specific to a specific story around the ice and the snowmobiles. So I think Arctic Rescue for me is the right choice of name to go for for me. I think it fits the broad theme perfectly, and I think it's perfect for SeaWorld San Diego and the kind of theme they want to bring into this. And it also pays homage to Wild Arctic. And to be fair, when we saw this as replacing Wild Arctic, I had an idea in my head as to what we could be seeing in terms of track shaping, in terms of train design. I knew it wasn't going to be... I, 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 had, I still had in my head thoughts of, well, this could be the same train design as Waybreaker at San Antonio. But I did have in my head, maybe they're going to go with a different train design. And now I know we are. And when I saw the, to be fair, when I saw the announcement for Project Dark Coaster, of course, Dark Coaster Escape the Storm at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and we saw the train design for that, I'm like, looks very snowmobile-like, and I'm thinking, yeah, I think we're going to see this on, on the Wild Arctic replacement at Seawall San Diego because of the theme of Wild Arctic, what they're looking to do with the coaster, and I think it... I think you just put two and two together and get four rather than five, to be honest, with this one. Because, you know, snowmobiles, ice, arctic, that kind of theme, it fits perfectly. So I kind of had an idea in my head that we were probably going to see the same trend design as the Dark Coaster Project rather than Wavebreaker. So as we said, this is going to open in 2023. It's a big, big year again for the Busch Gardens and SeaWorld Parks this year. Uh, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm really, really looking forward to uh, seeing everything and seeing all the investments and seeing what everything's going to be going forward. And um, SeaWorld San Diego is doing a wonderful job with this project. So that is the end of this video on Arctic Rescue at SeaWorld San Diego. We've got one more to go from SeaWorld San Antonio on Catapult Falls, so stay tuned for that one. But for now, guys, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Donkster Born, but built for theme parks. Keep living the coaster life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please use the social media links at the bottom of the screen and in the description down below. Have an Arctic-tastic day. Thank you very much.